All right, so my friend has a little bit of an issue, and so I took it upon myself to create a tutorial for this. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit quirky. Uh, I know most of you might know already how to do this, so if you're viewing this video, this is really intended for either first-time users or people who have walked away from emulation and uh, forgot how to do things, uh, case in point. Uh, so, and it's, it's really confusing at times, so I definitely understand where this is coming from. So, I'm going to assume you, I can't really tell you where to get this stuff because it's, uh, it's a gray area. Uh, what I can tell you is, uh, like how to actually operate and run it. So, uh, from where you have your exe file downloaded, uh, so, for example... I have my uh, emulator on my in a special uh, directory. So what I'm going to do is go to that directory and I am going to create a shortcut on my desktop for it just so I don't have to go there again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the program and we're going to full screen it. Okay. And when we're setting this up for the first time, uh, let's go ahead and actually set our controls. So in order to set the controls, what you want to do is you want to go right here to config and you're going to find input. And then from input, it's going to ask you to configure the gamepad. Now I have a relatively crappy controller here. This is actually my PS4 controller, but it'll still work. And we're just going to click the button configure and as you can see it has the original layout as to what the NES controller was laid out as so we're going to click up oh, dang it. we could do it that way or if I remember correctly yes we can just set the inputs uh, hold on Huh, interesting. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and go to configure. And we're going to click on up, press up, hit close. Down, press down, hit close. Left, press left, hit close. Right, press right, press close. Then select. I'm going to select the corresponding button on my controller. And then for B, I'm going to make sure that's the button that's closest to me. And then for A, I'm going to make sure that's the button farthest from me. And then if you have a four button face, Turbo B will be the button above the button you assigned to B. And Turbo A will be the button assigned the button you assigned to A. And there you have it. Your controller is now configured. Now to load a, wad, uh, a ROM, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Open ROM. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to where we had uh, put our ROMs. And we're going to just look for a ROM. In this case, let's go ahead and look for Super Mario. There we go. Super Mario Brothers plus Duck Hunt. A classic. And then what I like to do is like to full screen it and boom. And then we're playing. And that's really how you set it up. It's actually fairly simple. Now there's some more advanced stuff I can teach, uh, like resolution and everything, but is this actually looks kind of crappy. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to hit Alt Enter. And we're going to hit pause here because we don't want Mario to die from a timeout. Because dying from a timeout is really nubby. We're going to go to Tools. No, we're going to go to Config. And then we're going to go to Video. And we're going to go to Aspect Ratio. And we're going to type in 16. Oh. 16 by 9. That is the 
That is the aspect ratio of a 16 by 9 monitor, windowed settings. Um, I'm going to set it to my monitor, but what you want to do for this is you want to go to display settings and you're going to see what the native resolution of your monitor is. For me, it's 2560 by 1440. For you, it might be 1080p. And we're going to hit enter. And there you go. Now it Now he's feeding some more of the screen. And that's really how you run the emulator. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a wonderful day.